we've um, squeezed a little beetle and we squeezed a grape and now we're going to tickle a little friend of ours called the snow mole and the snow moles are friendly little creatures and they like skiers they're a bit hesitant about some of them but when a skier comes along they pop up and run along beside you they don't run along too close because they don't want their ear chopped off and the interesting thing about snow moles is you know I refer to the inside ski and the outside ski snow moles are always outside the outside ski so in the second half of the arc they're below you so the little snow mole pops up and of course they're moles so they're only short and they don't appear there they appear out here somewhere in case you're not a good skier and you cut their ear off and they don't want that so in order to tickle them because they're friends of ours we have to reach down and most importantly out to the side so it's not out to the side up there it's out to the side down there and then we tickle their ears and when we tickle their ears they run forward and so toward the end of the arc in order to stay tickling them we have to tickle them right to there and then just as we get to the end of the arc they dive under the snow and when our skis come round they've popped up the other side they'll be on the outside of this one now then, why would I invent such a daft idea? Watch my body mm -hmm. as I reach out and down the slope in order to tickle my beetle. First of all, watch my body. Tickle him and then drive him forward. Which way did my pelvis go, my hips? Into the slope. Into the slope, yeah. 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 Now watch my skis. Watch what they do and tell me what you see. What did they do? Lift. They tilted more, didn't they? Yeah. So I've now got more of a tilted ski, more of a platform mm -hmm. against which I'll be bracing. I won't be standing, I won't be standing on the ski. I'm now bracing against the ski mm -hmm. because I'm developing a big arc that's coming around there. So there's a good reason for having a silly little creature, but this is easier to remember and a much friendlier idea than the technicalities. <laughs> we reach out and down the slope, and then we tickle him forwards just toward the end of the arc. And that's our little friend, the snow mole. Now, mm -hmm. we may or may not get to our next friend tomorrow, we'll see, or on the next session. Mm -hmm. But our other friend is because snow moles get lonely when we're not there, poor little creatures. They get, they get very lonely. Fortunately, they have a friend. And the friend that they have is a snow giraffe. <laughs> not many moles have friends who are giraffes, but this one does, right? So you've got the mole and you have a giraffe. Now, the thing about giraffes is they're, all on the, they're always on the inside of the ark. The moles are always on the outside of the ark. And another is to think about, about giraffes is, not only are they taller than moles, but they've got longer necks. And when we get to the giraffe, we won't, do them, uh, we won't do them both at the same time. We'll learn to acquaint ourselves with our moley friends first, mm -hmm. but then we'll acquaint ourselves with our giraffe friends, whose ears, because of the length of their neck, are much further ahead than our snow moles. So while we're tic tickling our snow mole here, we'll be tickling our giraffe there. And a comfortable way to do that is just to allow your shoulders to come round that way a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that's the, that's the name of that game. Slightly higher, considerably further ahead with the inside hand, so you can tickle the giraffe's ears, tickling them all down here. And then of course, as the arc comes round and you change the arc, then it goes the other way round. And that's our friends, the mole and the giraffe, with whom we'll acquaint ourselves tomorrow. And we'll give them a good tickling. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> good. Sounds good. Yeah, really good. <laughs>